good day everyone and thank you for joining us again today we are interviewing jb who is the committee lead for the pre-conference workshop now if friends coming up you all know that the pre-conference always proceeds i mean that's the name in itself pre-conference workshop but it's more than just ushering us into the conference it sets the tone for the theme of the conference and it also helps us to begin to think around local policy or local policy advocacy, we may call it that way, in the way NAPE retains its position as a shaping organization for the upstream energy and geoscientist um, in the energy oil and gas sector. So today, JB is going to walk us through all of the amazing plan for the pre-conference workshop. We are keen to hear, members are very keen to hear. Uh, and I'd like you to just, you know, really introduce yourself. If you'd like to mention members of your team, please do that as well. And we'll go into the conversations and get more deeper into what we should be expecting at the pre-conference workshop. My name is John Bosco Uche. And for short, you know, JB, I'm really called. I work shell and I'm a scientist. And I've also been a very active member of, of this great association, NAPE. And actually, very most recently, um, I was the vice president of this association. So that's who I am. And in the pre-conference uh, workshop planning committee, I've got a really very dedicated folks, uh, NAPE members that are working with me. Uh, across the industry, you know, I've got Obino Kohli and X um, Total and the Manuel Ebola current Total uh, staff. I've got uh, Emeka Odebat, who works for Exxon. Um, I've also have uh, Osim Oboke who works for uh, Mappings, and then also Cynthia Ike uh, working for EMR, as well as uh, Olajimoke uh, working for uh, Sahara Energy. You can also see the diverse team of um, you know in the team, and you can imagine the product of diversity, and that's what we're going to be delivering to these uh, events. Uh, for this year conference, which is the 40th annual uh, international conference and exhibition of, of, of NAPE, uh, the 40th one, we are going to be showcasing um, and talking about a topic that is quite topical in the world we live in today. Um, the climate change is here with us, right? And, and of course, we have to reduce the greenhouse emissions. But at the same time, you know, we're also thinking about meeting the energy demand, the energy access uh, to the population. And therefore, as we move into the transition uh, world, we want to bring in this topic uh, to get our audience uh, to understand. And of course, as a nation in, in, in country in Nigeria, to have a communicate that can also drive uh, the policy of what we really do. So the theme uh, for this year's uh, pre-conference workshop is going to be energy security and transition tra strategies, opportunities and challenges. And, and to make sure we deliver a very uh, you know high quality uh, workshop, we've also reached out wide to get the best speakers we can ever have in country in Nigeria. The keynote speaker is going to be the GGM of Napiums, Bala Wunti. Um, and then we also have an amazing you know panelist and other speakers uh, for the event. We've got Rosunda, who is the executive commissioner in NUPRC. We've got uh, Mr. Um, Ademola Demibelo who is you know, a founder and the MD of SENP, is going to be speaking. We also have uh, engineer Efion Okon, who is actually the new energy uh, director in CEPLAT, as well as we also have a researcher, a professor who actually re is researching global around energy, uh, energy transition, and his name is going to be is, uh, Professor Adiola Adenekinju. And uh, so it's going to be quite amazing. Of course, our moderator is going to be Alero, and also the who is well known in the industry. So you can't just afford to miss what we're going to showcase on this very topic uh, on the day being the 26th of October. So, there, there are, so we've got the main theme, which is the energy security and transition strategies. And that's what the keynote speaker, Bala wanted the GGM of NAPIM, is going to be helping us to really, you know, portray the element of what the content is all about. As we know, uh, NMPC recently rebranded, uh, you know, talking around the energy of today, energy of tomorrow. And we expect Bala Wunti to really help us to estray uh, what the energy transition is all about when you know, NMPC is, is uh, talked about. And of, of course, as a nation, 
And I know Balawunti also um, usually talks about the three E's, you know, the energy transition, energy investment, and energy crisis. I expect that he's going to be telling us about, you know, these three E's as a keynote speaker. Uh, we also will be listening to uh, Efi Okon, who, again, by his title, is the new energy director for CEPLA. This is about energy transition, it's about the new energies. And he's very experienced, a veteran in the industry. Um, he's got over 30 years of experience in the industry, having worked for Shell and then, of course, uh, CEPLA right now as a director. So he's going to be helping us to talk about the strategies for energy security. And that's going to be the sub thing that he's going to be focusing on. And then when we then leave uh, Ethiopia, Kong, um, Rosendong actually is going to be bringing some elements of gas and the Cretaceous Basin. And that's why we have the sub team, which we call the Gas Resource Base and Cretaceous Basin in Nigeria. If you recall, you know, we've got the decade um, of gas, which is, you know, doing quite well uh, for the country. We've got the PIA, we've got the Climate Change Act passed. So the question is, the, as we move and transit to the renewable, we will still continue to need the oil and gas of, you know, that we have. And therefore, gas will continue to play a big role. And that's what Rosendong is going to be helping us to, you know, portray in terms of the role the gas will play and the flow of the Cretaceous Basin in regards to energy transition. Then we also have uh, Professor Adiola, who is um, a research professor. Right, he's well known, you know, globally. He's been working as, you know, consulting for a couple of uh, international companies um, in, in the world. Um, he's also consulted for OPEC. He's consulted for, you know, World Bank around energy transition, energy economics, right? And he's going to be helping us to bring in the something around the geopolitics. So he's going to be focused largely around the geopolitics of uh, energy transition and how that plays in. And then, of course. Um, in all this, we've got um, a Demola uh, a Vero, Ademi Vero, who is the MD of uh, First um, He is, of course, he, has, he also worked for Shell over 30 years of experience in the industry. He was an MD of, um, of uh, British Gas, and then, of course, founder and the MD of First EMP. Now, we will be actually getting from his experience as an independent company uh, in Nigeria. He was also, it might also be interesting to know, he was also the former uh, chairman of the Independent Producers Association, you know, uh, IPPG uh, in Nigeria. So therefore, he's going to come with that perspective to be able to showcase how the indigenous companies and independents are ready to operate in this new world as we move from oil and gas to the, you know, to the renewable. Uh, and therefore, it's going to be quite amazing to really hear from these renowned speakers. Uh, and then we bring everything together with a quality audience in the room. And they can imagine the kind of communicate that can come out of this. Um, so looking forward to the session indeed on the 26th of October. So it's amazing uh, that actually um, I will be participating and will be attending this fourth set uh, conference. Um, I started joining, attending NAPE conference in early 2000. And I'm happy and quite excited to be on the 40th one. And I'm also happy to be chairing one of the, you know, prominent committees, the pre-conference workshop um, as well. Um, as you know, of course, it's an anniversary for us. You know, 40 is a ruby, right? And um, I'm looking forward to even the gold, you know, the platinum and the rest of the NAPI. But for this very one, I'm quite excited. And I think the 40th anniversary, the 40th subcommittee that we have has also brought some innovation around, you know, the 40th anniversary that we have, you know, talking about the, the logo design, competition we had talking about the mascot and therefore this is quite going to be unique um in the conference i know nape has existed for over for about 47 years but this is the 40th conference that we're going to be having and i'm excited to be part of this and i can't afford not to be there i'm already counting the days i think it's going to be about 50 days plus uh to the day so i'm looking forward to it and part of it Really, really want to use this opportunity to invite every single one. Uh, NAPE members, non-NAPE members, you know, the academia, organizations and companies. So really, if you haven't really registered, go for it. And by the way, if you register for the main conference, which is happening in November, you don't have to pay to attend the pre-conference workshop on the 26th. All you need to do is to register for the main conference, then you just have a free entry. But for any reason, you will not be around in November to be at the main conference. 
you can also register. There is a token, a fee you can actually pay just to attend for the pre conference workshop only. Just visit the NAPE website and you see that. And I really want to invite every single person, um, and just to mention as well that the pre conference workshop is going to start at 9 a.m. on the 26th of October up until 1 p.m. The four uh, the keynote speaker and the other four speakers are going to be presenting uh, in the first hour or so. And then our moderator, Alero, is going to then deep dive into the panel session where we will now spend another two hours plus to have the diverse discussion on this uh, topic before we go in uh, for lunch. So really, I want to invite every single person to please register and get ready to attend this 40th NAPE conference in 2022.